Wait a minute, we're too big to be in the frame. There we go. I think it was this time last year. We're sitting in this exact same location with a smaller camper and a smaller truck. Same color truck. And we were going through the half ton towable overloaded spill with the uh, cat scale tickets. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have fixed that problem. So even though this is a lot bigger camper, things huge, there's no match for that truck. Don't even phase that truck. That's the difference in a half ton and a one ton. That one ton right there is a beast. That one ton is a capable of doing 31.1 on the fifth wheel. It's towing capacity is 31,100 pounds on the fifth wheel. Fifth wheel is the pain thing, it sits inside the bed. That's where the hooks up. Uh, this camper weighs about 14,000. I do have scale tickets, but I won't reveal those when she's uh, loaded. Right now I got the RZR in, in the back there. Can you guys see the RZR in there? Uh, empty weight. Uh, we were 26,000 on a gross. That means truck and trailer. And we had 3,000 pounds on the uh, hitch. And that truck is capable of 5,200 on the hitch. Uh, we were at 3,000. Now I don't want to put the RZR back here in the back. Probably brought that up some. So we'll scale it on our next uh, voyage. But anyway, so what we did is we got rid of the uh, three-car wedge, 50-foot wedge, because I couldn't use this as a commercial rig. So I got rid of the three-car wedge and got that. That's an old girl. She's 16 years old, uh, but is one owner. Really good shape inside. And uh, the RZR fits. Let me show you the RZR. RZR fits on the inside, so we are going to go do some riding and camping. You guys see the RZR up in there? Oh, yeah. So, full 12-foot dedicated garage. And uh, But anyway, a big change from last year there, Reggie. So, I love this setup. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you halftime guys, if you ever get the opportunity to tow with something besides your halftime, do it. You will not believe the difference. This thing is, uh, this is a 40 footer. It's a baby Raptor. She's 40 foot long. Uh, that 28 foot bumper pull I have with that half ton, it was a bit squirrely, you know, and, and always on edge. This thing here, man, you can drive this thing down the road and it don't, it does not even care. I mean, it does, it's, it's like running empty with that truck, just going to Walmart. It just does not phase it. Uh, it's like driving a truck to trailer. The ease and relaxation is just there, you know. Uh, so, so glad I got the one ton dually over a three quarter ton uh, RV or over single axle. I love that dual wheel setup and it handles this uh, 40 foot camper like it is nothing. So, that's what we've been up to. We uh, got rid of the three car wedge and bought us a fifth wheel. Took it out camping last weekend and it was phenomenal. Going again this weekend with the RZR and do some riding at the same time. So, um, anyway, we'll show you guys scale tickets once we get loaded with the RZR uh, and all the grocers in it. We'll rescale it and that'll be a more accurate description. So, uh, there you go, guys. Big upgrade over the half ton, uh, fifth wheel upgrade over the bumper pool, and uh, man, living large there. Come on. Okay, so we got camper home and show you what a 16 year old let's turn this camera a little bit back 16 year old camper looks like I'm not rode the screen down yet but I think it's probably pretty well intact and in good shape <coughs> excuse me and uh hasn't hauled much it's more muddy footprints than anything so we'll let that down and get that cleaned up. But the RZR is going to, uh, oh look, I like his little security thing. He got up here, guess if, guess if, uh, someone cut the lock, they can't get in. 
All right, so this is kind of a baby raptor. It does not have the Happy Jack bed system. <clears throat> so uh, this is a smaller raptor. But I think uh, my son will put an air mattress back here. It does have a AC duct. I think that's what that is right there. And of course the fan. Uh, until I get the ACs running, I don't know. But 16 years, no one has worn shoes in here or used the bathroom. Let's turn some lights on. Hang on a second. These floors are slicker than snot. Anyway, so in 16 years, man, look at this. They kept plastic on the carpets. I'm going to rip all that up because that is slicker. than it, That's slick, man. That's slick as it can be. But I, they, I guess it's just that carpet tack plastic. They'd take it up and put it down every time. And uh, I'm not going to be like that, man. I'm going to use it. You know what I mean? So well, that's pretty cool, but we'll kick our shoes off anyway. But anyway, so I don't think the oven's ever been used. You know, look at that. Cleans the whistle. Right. Uh, his wife was a little Japanese lady. And I don't think... I don't think, look at that. I mean, you know, they, they used it just to go to, just to go to Florida and uh, snowbirds, you know, and then where they stayed out in Florida had a, had a bathhouse. So they would use the bathhouse. And uh, so it's really well kept inside. 16 years old, man. She's showing very little, uh, very little use. Here's the water closet. So, um, I hadn't even opened that. Let's open that, see what that looks like. You guys hold your eyes closed. Oh yeah, just a lot of dust and there's not even got no water in it. Hopefully the seal's good. So I want to throw water to everything, get it all charged. But yeah, they've never used that. I guess they kept toilet paper in here just for aesthetics, but I don't know. And uh, But yeah, so hopefully the seals are good. Still got the plastic on the Hose, oh yeah, an instruction manual there. So yeah, we'll uh, throw water to this thing and get it all charged up. And uh, I ripped the plastic up off this floor here because those steps were slick with that plastic on there, but the carpet's all tacky. So we're gonna get this shampooed up. And then the shower, I can't tell there's any use of that. See, after 16 years, you would think that would be gone from water. And it's still got the factory cheesy shower head on it so i i and look there's no mildew stains on the on the rope here so i'm telling you that don't they never even used to shower so man i don't i don't know anyway it's pretty good find i think um there i am hello so uh yeah you know i got an old ancient tv up there i mean look just look at the let's look over here and look at this closet uh, carpet you guys can see that. I don't know the iPhone focus on the carpet. It still looks brand new in the closet, you know? So, um, and I've checked everywhere. I checked in the closets, the corners of the floors, the backs of the slides. Um, not seeing water damage or mildew um, <clears throat> or soft spots or anything. So, this is a new AC unit here they had put in. And I never rented it because it was too cold for her. So... Yeah, so she got two AC units, and uh, anyway, all in all, it should be pretty good. We'll get her, uh, we'll get her all set up and moved in. And there's a queen bed up top there. The grandson will love that up there. And like I said, my son can put a air mattress back there in the garage when we go for them. So yeah, ceiling fan uh, is a nice uh, addition there. Makes a nice uh, breeze. So yeah, we're gonna get her cleaned up. Gonna mop and go all these floors because they are slicker than snot. It's like a, it's like a silicone on there, like an armor all. Because they they were armor all this little thing here to make it look good. Well, it gets on your socks, transfers to here. But you can go ice skating in here. So we're gonna come in here with some spick and span or mop and glow and get all this cleaned up. But for 16 years old, she's uh holding up pretty well, I think. So. Hopefully we get the RZR in there and uh, and do some uh, camping and foiling and enjoying weekend life there. So, all right, see ya.